Persona 9 is so rock solid and familiar, it basically feels like a gutted Honor 8 with an updated spec sheet and a front facing fingerprint scanner. Despite delivering a familiar design, software and hardware experience, it somehow still comes out feeling like an exciting phone. I'm Chris Carlin with Android Authority, and this is the Honor 9 Hands-On. Honor has remained remarkably gimmick free over the years, so while other companies have gone in search of the next big thing, Honor has instead focused on providing a solid core experience. The upshot of a distilled smartphone experience is that Honor has also managed to keep its prices down. The Honor 9 continues that tradition, starting at €449 Euros in Europe, although there's currently a deal on offer to get a 64GB Honor 9 and an Honor Band 3 fitness tracker for €429 Euros or £379. No matter what you pay though, you'll be getting a phone packing pretty high-end specs, essentially the same as those found in the Huawei Mate 9 and P10, but for a lot less than those other phones. To get those specs out of the way, here they are, so just pause this video if you need some time to ponder. Specs aside though, the Honor 9 is focused on a few key areas, style, performance, gaming, audio, camera, and sports. It looks a lot like the Honor 8 from last year, but with the addition of 3D curved glass on the back to improve its grippability. The 15 layer optical treatment on the back curves into the sandblasted metal frame and around to the front where a 5.15 inch 1080p IPS LCD panel sits atop a front facing fingerprint scanner. That panel is plenty punchy though with nice saturated colours, good contrast and outdoor visibility combined with solid viewing angles. While some folks will be disappointed that the fingerprint scanner has migrated to the front of the Honor 9, I can assure you that it is unbelievably fast and very reliable. There's no option for on-screen navigation buttons anymore, but you can switch the location of the capacitive buttons flanking the ceramic home button. The MUI 5.1 on Android 7.0 is just as fluid, feature-packed and customizable as always, and there's no major new surprises here, other than the addition of some new 3D audio profiles for when you're listening to tunes with headphones. You can choose the type of headphones you're using and select a listening profile out of near, front and wide, depending on whether you want a more immersive or up-close and personal experience. The bottom firing speaker gets notably loud, but you might want to avoid maxing it out if you actually like your music. Moving on to the dual camera, the monochrome sensor has been beefed up to 20 megapixels resolution, which affords the 2x hybrid zoom we've also seen on the Huawei P10 and Mate 9. The 12 megapixel RGB sensor adds color information, while the monochrome sensor takes care of details. Pixel binning promises superior low light performance, but while the Honor 9 does pretty well with color, there's still a fair bit of noise and lost detail in the shadows. The absence of OAS means you'll suffer at night with either f2.2 aperture lens and your 4K footage will be noticeably bumpy. We'll bring you more detailed information on the Honor 9 camera in the full review, but we can already tell that it performs quite well, if not exactly spectacularly. In full daylight, everything comes out great, just like with most phones, and there's a bunch of other options available like live photos, a full manual mode, monochrome only, a patchy sort of bokeh portrait mode, light painting, and a new night shot mode you'll need to use a tripod for unless you want to end up with this kind of mess. As I mentioned at the outset, the Honor 9 is a no frill smartphone delivering a solid baseline across the board at a price point that most can manage. It doesn't add anything brand new to the mix, just improves on a winning formula from years past, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, ring that notification bell for updates on our latest uploads. Be sure to track us down on social media and hit the comments to let us know your thoughts on the Honor 9. Once you've done all that, head on over to androidauthority.com for more on the Honor 9 and all the other 2017 smartphones you need to know about because we are your source for all things Android.